Hey guys, in this video um, I am exploring Cloudwalk by Terra Hadrian. It was recently posted in the Quake Live mapping forums and I want to give it a go. So I'll just hop into some free for all. Um, the map is a space floater. See, uh, my first impression the scale of this indoor area is fairly small. Apparently, um, the general layout is a square, as far as I can tell. Keep clear. I was right. Um, whoa. It's quad here. Okay, how do you access this? Maybe you need to go in from above. Oh, oh, this is water. What the fuck? That's interesting. I like this med kit. Okay. And um, what's this? How can I get there? I like the design, it's very clean and it looks really consistent and good. I, like, I enjoy this. Oh, window here. I guess this is a drop pad. Yes. Also, nail gun. Whoa, and then follow gun. I wonder where the railgun is. Is it just a railgun spawn? I'm not sure. Might be someone just dropped it there. So I guess this is where you go in for the quad. And as far as I saw, this is a tele. Nice. And this is probably the railgun pickup. So if you get quad, you also get railgun immediately. And I guess it might be tough to get someone sitting on here to fall down. Simply because there's not nothing, no ceiling to do splash damage. Well, so if you don't make mistake, a uh, mistake like I just did, you won't fall down that easily. Can't walk. Whoa, whoa. So yeah, these curved trims on the top are a bit annoying, I'd say. Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> what was this? I don't even know what happened. Maybe it's related to this. I like the sound effect. That's cool. That's really nice work. So what is this? Okay, this is a telly. Can I go up here? Oh yes, I can. That's interesting. I guess this is a... This is a button, apparently. So I guess this is what triggers the boxes going down. I love this. this <laughs> that's pretty fun. I mean, it's nothing you usually see in the map, but um, this is a space floor, and space floors are always a bit different. So I guess it's fine. I also like the... Oh! So it was not the top of of the laser cannon that um, triggered the box to fall down. It's this button actually, and then you can. That's nice. That's really nice. So yeah, this looks like a really fun little map. It's a really, really nice concept. I love the design. Where does this bring me? Whoa! The map kit. I see. I guess I. Uh, some hidden advertising. I like this really nice gameplay element. Adding a bunch of pillars allowing you to do some dodging, that's nice. To the rail here, and I think the button to toggle this is down here. Yeah, nice. And now I'm back on the square path. I wonder where the LG is. Right, so, this is a broken wall. Nice use of the details, nice brush detail too. I 
feel like the windows are sometimes a bit harder to see. Maybe it's just me though. Maybe a different window texture would help. Something, you know, with scratches on maybe. Like, if you, could, if you walk here. On the first side, you won't make out that there's a hole there and not a window. This is also nice. Two way teleporter. So you can exit it from above and from below. Landing side, it's also nice. Okay, so there's the red spawn. I think you wouldn't want to have um, red and mega spawn that close to each other, even if it's a space floater. I enjoy pressing the button. I wish you could use this as a route up, maybe that would be nice. Like a temporary route to get up to this higher level of the Mega and the Red. I think the layout is actually fairly easy to learn. I like that. And apparently bots take the mega health and red armor too. Bot play seems actually actually seems to be really good. I mean I haven't haven't noticed bots standing around or doing weird stuff too much. So there's a yellow spawn here. Um, I think you should definitely Oh, I can shoot through here. That's interesting. I really like this concept of the um, water pool teleporter. It's really unique. Can you use this to go up? Whoa. Shit. I guess you can. Yeah, I think you should really add item markers because in free for all, people don't drop a lot of weapon and weapons, and it's hard to make out where items actually spawn and where someone just dropped the weapon. I really love this laser cannon. I mean, you could make this cube look a bit more like um, a control tower. So yeah, getting caught and getting the rail. I don't know if this is actually usable or, or, or actually a fun thing, you know. Excellent. I like this here, I like this long haul, it adds something to the gameplay, it's very different from the rest of the map. Here. I pretty much like the use of those crates. I'm pretty sure you can do a jump here to get up. Ah. Maybe you can't, but it would be nice if you could. So maybe there should be something to make this possible. <laughs> it's 
so the top of this laser can actually do damage. And that's fun. I think that's a good thing. Adds some fun element. A little bit of randomness too, but it adds a little bit of randomness and freakiness, you know, that's what makes a good space floater. That's actually pretty nice, you can... <laughs> so yeah, if you actually... If I, did, if I was actually able to hit the quad... Nice, you can rocket jump up here, that's pretty cool. So you can ninja grab the quad. And if you go here with the quad, you will surely always pick up the break or get fragged. But there's always a lot of traffic here, at least when the bots play the map. I wonder if it will be the same. I guess um, with, actual play with, act um, with actual players there will be a lot more traffic around this area simply because there's Mega Health here and there's Red here. And you can even, I think there's a jump pad here, yes. And you can even get quick access to the rail and attack quite quickly. So if you hold this top level here around the Red. hold this top level you get access to the red you get access to the mega you can get to rail quickly and you can get to port quickly so this is probably where the map needs a little work i guess mega health should be somewhere else maybe mega health should be down in this corridor here or it should be in this tight corridor maybe here should be mega health where being pg is uh, it's simply because I think if actual players are on the map, there will be a lot of traffic around the red armor and it might result in people camping in red. So yeah, furthermore, it would be nice um, if you could, if you bring down those um, boxes, it would be nice if you could go out here and do a jump up to the upper level, so you could, so the um, boxes would actually be of use for you on the lower level and not only for getting someone down who's camping on those bosses. Other than that, um, I think I really like the map. As I said, I love the design, it's brilliant, it's clean and it's... Um, Consistent, the composition is good, the uh, um, visual density is good, and I think that's really what makes a good map in terms of visuals. And as far as I can tell, um, this map should be really fun and free for all with three players if items get nerfed a bit. I think the quad area is really unique and it's really good. It's a really good idea. You can see a lot of creati creativity has gone into this map. So I think there's a lot of potential right here, and that's a map that I um, definitely like to see um, added and uh, being added to the game sooner or later. Um, maybe it could use one more add port somewhere. You only got one here floating in the air. However, um, great work on, work on this one. To sum it up, um, try to take away some traffic from this red armor area here in the Mega Health area by simply moving items somewhere else. And moving Mega down here probably won't help too much. I think you need some more traffic in this area here, maybe. Maybe Mega can be um, here, even where the yellow is, I think. And it you, yeah, that's the yellow. You need to add item markers desperately because otherwise you wouldn't know there is actually something spawning here. Uh, 
and maybe um, teleporter destinations are also still missing. So I mean markers for the destinations. Actually it's tough with the Mega. I mean you wouldn't really want to move that um, yellow away from here. Maybe you could uh, put the, uh, the Mega here and move yellow somewhere here. Just to keep a good distance between yellow and red armor while having um, that mega moved away a bit from the, um, from the red. Excellent. I really like this though. I wish that this would be used more intensively, even without the mega. Whatever. Anywho, um, so much for that. I'm looking forward to seeing this map being updated. And yeah, see you in my next video. Goodbye.